Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Small Business Daily. We are talking today about an article that was written by 137pm.com titled The 14 Best Business Podcasts. This is an article that had just recently come out a few weeks ago and the article goes on to mention 14 of the best podcasts obviously by their opinion and I have um is am quite a podcast junkie and I started listening to podcasts quite a while ago and am obsessed with business podcasts you know from the uh the phrase that Zig Ziglar um titled Automobile University I tried to take every advantage in my car to listen to something that is educational whether it be religious whether it be business or or whatever it might be I am trying to constantly better myself so what I wanted to do was go over this list and I will obviously attach this uh, article if you want to uh, read it for yourself um, I'm not going to go over every podcast in there because I haven't listened to the majority of them but um, it starts out with number 14 it starts from the back and then goes um forward in their opinion. Number 14 is called the How I Built This Podcast with Guy Raz. Um, This is an NPR produced podcast um, and I started listening to this. I stumbled onto this um, not too long ago, uh, maybe two or three months ago and have become completely obsessed with this. This podcast is about um, stories of not only founders of companies but um, influential people. It is Basically, how I built this um, about large companies, um, there's people interviewed on there like Mark Cuban, Sarah Blakely, um, there is the, um, um, I'm trying to think of all the, 1-800-GOT-JUNK uh, was the first episode that I had listened to, um, there's a lot of tech companies, there's there's all of these huge companies that are interviewed on this show, um, and they some of the stories on this show are completely mind-blowing. They go from when these people were you know basically small to building their company, the struggles that they had building their company, and a lot of the companies have since been sold. Uh, and then a lot of the people have still re- remain 100% owner of their companies. They recorded the uh, founder of Cliff Bar on there, and he talked about how he had went through several um, attempts at mergers and acquisitions by different companies and how he still remains the 100% owner of that company. Um, so that is an incredible podcast that it starts out with, um, and I could not agree more with that one. Um, another one it, it lists is Entrepreneurs on Fire by John Lee Dumas. I'm not a m- monster uh, fan of that one. I've listened to that one several times. And it could just never really get that into it. Um, it goes on to to mention a bunch of different uh, podcasts. Another one, Smart Passive Income with Pat Flynn. Wasn't a real big fan of that one. Um, he talks a lot about... Um, landing pages and um, just kind of almost not scammy things, but he talks about just a bunch of like random, random like kind of tech type um, things that I just didn't feel like really applied to me that much. Goes on to uh, number three on the list, uh, starting of course from 14. Now we're moved down to number three, the rise podcast with Rachel Hollis. Um, I know, I know that my wife has listened to this one on and off in the past. Um, Rachel Hollis, I think, has built an incredible business. She not only talks about a lot of uh, of, of women, female entrepreneur stuff, but she also talks a lot about just like raising her family and being involved with her family and things like that. I believe she was married to an ex NFL uh, football player. She started out kind of as a social media influencer and now has built her business into. Um, kind of talking about uh, the mindset that you have, the confidence that you have. Um, And so it's not necessarily just about business. It's more about motivation, things like that. I've never listened to that one, but uh, I know, like I said, my wife is is pretty crazy about that one. Number two on the list uh, is the Gary Vee Audio Experience. Um, Gary Vee, though he has incredibly uh, poor choice of uh, language, um, he curses and the majority of his uh, podcast, he has some of the most incredible um, outside of the box marketing advice. Um, he runs a more than thousand person marketing company. He came from a small. Um, he moved. He was a foreigner and came from a small family ran business and took over his business somewhat 
for his dad um, and grew that business exponentially um, through the internet kind of boom um, and the social media boom and then moved on to start a marketing company where he markets for other companies such as uh, Pepsi. He markets for companies like... uh, uh, Unilever and uh, Johnson and Johnson. I mean, he is he's marketing for very very large companies, and that's what he does is runs a marketing company. So on his podcast, he talks about marketing. He interviews other people in business, um, and then the majority of his content that is on his podcast is actually recorded interviews with other people. So he's talking and giving advice to somebody else, and he just has a a uh, recorder on the whole time. He has a microphone attached to him pretty much throughout the day, and he records the majority of his day um, to capture good um, to capture good conversations and things like that. Um, so his podcast is definitely one of a kind, and you talk about a practitioner and that's what I really like to listen to somebody that is actually being a practitioner and living out this advice themselves and talk about somebody that's doing it very successfully. Um, he is a great person to listen to advice from. And then finally the Tim Ferriss show I've been on and off with the Tim Ferriss show for a long time. Um, Tim is obviously um, built a very large business himself through books and through speaking and things like that. And he is more um, what I would call like a personal development type of person. He does um, weird challenges basically with himself. He'll go on different diets. He will um, challenge himself to be off of technology. He'll challenge himself to um, do certain things. He is, this is a very, very unique podcast. You can tell that Tim is very um, thoughtful about every single word that he says is, seems like premeditated and thought out beforehand. He seems like a very um, thoughtful person. Everything he says, it seems like he is calculating his his thoughts and his words before he is even saying them. Um his podcast, I would not necessarily call a business podcast per se. Um, <laughs> oddly enough, i um, reading the paragraph here kind of, it says, while this is not a straightforward business podcast per se. Um, so the article says exactly what I'm kind of talking about here. Um, but he does have some very good practical business advice and he does interview people that are very, um, big into business. Um, and he has written some business books. He writ, wrote the book called The 4-Hour Workweek. Um, a lot of people have heard of that book. And Tim is a very, seems like, successful uh, person in his own right. He has definitely, I would say, his claim to fame is, is through his writing. He writes books, and he has a very large blog that he um, has through email subscriber list, I believe, is how he does that. So, um, those were the list. Uh, like I said, there's a, a very large list here. You can all attach the article in the notes um, here below. But uh, yeah, this is a very good list. I, I agree with that. And I'd say number one is probably Chatter with Steve podcast would probably be the uh, the top rated. They didn't mention it in this article, but um, obviously I wouldn't uh, uh, leave this article without mentioning that the Chatter with Steve podcast is probably my favorite out of all of these. Thank you for watching. Leave your comments below.